Okay, so guys, I want to redo this video, this equation here. By the time I was doing it, in fact, I never did even a quick revision to see how I could have answered this question. Just as I said, this question was always tricky. So um, there's this question which we never answered, which I said is zero as the tension. I think I was wrong. And in science, it is good to accept when you are wrong and go back and make a correction just as I'm doing now. So beginning with the equation, a figure 5.1 shows a motor used to operate a lift or elevator. There is a man in the lift. The input power of the motor is 6200 watts. So this is it, the man in the elevator. And then this is the motor that when it rotates, it has a string connected to this uh, lift. So when it rotates, the string becomes short and then it pulls this person uh, or the elevator up and down. In the process, it makes this uh, elevator moves up, uh, up and down. So this one, we answered it very well when they said define power, we said the rate of doing work or the rate at which energy is uh, transferred. Then came this question, the trick question. So the lift, the question was the lift and the man have a total mass of 580 kg. The lift moves up a distance of 12 meters in 5 uh, in 15 seconds. So this is the lift moving up um, uh, a distance of uh, 12 meters in 15 seconds then they say calculate or calculate the tension f the tension force in the cable when the lift is moving at constant t speed so so now what what i never thought of was this so and i did this we have done these things at the college so i know i never thought they could bring such a question to gce yeah so now what you should realize that in the string that put uh, forces here so the weight of this uh the same lift and the man which is the weight it acts downwards which is it weight weight acts downward and weight is equal to mass times c gravity then as the motor rotates there's also tension which pulls this one so that tension which is the force uh faces upwards now if this thing so this is the tension t so if this thing is going upward as it rotates meaning uh the the weight is being overcome for this one now to go up so meaning and since they said um it is moving at constant t uh speed it means that um, when uh, this tension the tension minus this weight which is uh, taking it downward mg this is our formula we use and we have never taught this thing at the secondary level so that's why it never even clicked in my mind that I should apply this one only to realize that this is what is at at play so that's why GC exams are really tricky. So now, when this thing you remove, um, you remove uh, the, the the tension which is pulling it up for it to move up. Meaning this tension is overcoming the weight of this uh, 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 person and then the lift. So, uh, so meaning that it is going up. So as it is going up, it's supposed to accelerate. So which means it's supposed to be mo g now it's supposed to produce acceleration so when you remove this one then it's supposed to be acceleration that's that's the formula guys this one so now now the tricky part now they've told us now constant so if it is constant then acceleration becomes zero that's where i got confused here it's true it becomes zero so here now you say t then tension is going to be m which is mass which is the 800 and the 580 so 500 and the 80 i hope you see this one then in g is acceleration due to gravity so times c then acceleration due to gravity is 10 then equals then 
mass again it is still 580 okay so it is still 58 maybe let me just push this one i think i can't write properly on this one so let me just get this one guys sorry i pick it and write it in a proper because this case here doesn't write in a better way so let me just lift it and bring it here okay so i want to bring it in weight so let me just come back here and then say reverse everything so that whatever I've written here may be um, and it done. So and it do and it do and it do and it do all these. So that I copy this question. Let me just zoom um, in like that so that I get this question like it is here. So let me, let me get this question here and take it in a way to where I, I'll, I'll be able to use that mouse which is. Uh, the pen here in weight I think it will be better here okay so I'm in weight now let me just do what I do the best here because the science that's how it's supposed to be it's supposed to maintain integrity truthfulness and all things when you go wrong you come back to it and the, on the drawing board you make the true uh, picture about the situation so uh, what I was saying was that there is a tension here which is T this one I think it's better and there is weight going downward which is uh, weight is equal to M G then here what I was saying is that uh, for this to move upward meaning it is overcoming the weight so meaning T minus weight which is mg then it's supposed now to accelerate like with acceleration which is m a with this acceleration now now since it is moving at constant speed acceleration is zero here so here we are going to say t is minus then we put mass which is 580 580 80 then g is gravity which is 10 always know it is 10 then is equal to mass again it is the same 580 times now acceleration which is zero that's how it's supposed to be done so that now we say t minus uh, 580 minus 10 which would be I mean times 10 which will be 5 uh, 5800 so it will be 5800 which is going to be equal to this times this which will be zero then we will make it the subject of the formula so this one will pass the other side which is going to be equal to uh, positive 5800 Newton so this is the answer so this will be the tension which is the five thousand eight hundred Newton unlike I wanted to do it you remember I did this that tension will be equal to weight something like that where I said this M G. then I all over the sudden I changed it to say <laughs> this one must be zero when it is not true it's that acceleration which must be zero so equally if you go direct like this the answer will be just like that so yeah guys this is what i wanted to do i hope you are happy uh, just as i'm happy now so uh for now bye and see you in the next lesson